awesome, my bum. <laughs> How are we all doing? I thought everyone's buzzing. I bet everyone's running out of the bank to see what I'm doing. Hear the birds? It's four o'clock in the morning. I don't care. I'm out. Well, no, I say four o'clock. It's actually about 20 past. It's uh, dawn. Getting dawn. I'm trying to get out, obviously. Um, trying to be reasonable, people. Don't go to Lindia. Don't go to any crazy places. Don't travel miles. That's the last of the rant of the the not the bloody coronavirus. But uh, yeah, try not to travel miles, people. I'm walking. I ain't even riding my bike today. It's a half hour walk. Hey, let's get out in it. Get your tits out. Get some sun on them. Get some vitamin D. We all know it's good for you. So I've uh, got two rods with me today. Got my net, my looking rat, and my uh, what's it called? Tripod. I've got some stuff to go carp fishing today, but to be honest with you, I'm going tench wild fishing. I cannot be bothered with people on the bank. It's going to be a nightmare. I'm going to stop because otherwise, you know what it's like. Otherwise, I'm going to be. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look. look at it. No one around. It's amazing. But I know the lakes that I fished, the uh, council ponds, are going to be rammed today. So we're not going on them. We are going for the tench. The wild tench. That's what we're going for today. Screw everyone else. It's gonna be full today, they have car photos and stuff. I'm gonna be here in one tension. <laughs> uh, to me, if you can, go and fish a wild water. I know everyone hasn't got a wild water, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I wish the rivers were open so people could just go on the rivers. Because I think uh it's not a great idea, everybody piling around lakes. I've seen it on one of the commercials, what I know is like you're next to each other nearly. And uh, they're gonna be rammed on that little lake, I know they are. So uh, it's a bit weird really, some of the commercials. Uh, I know some of them are open, some are. But we'll have a chat about that in the later. Here comes that coronavirus at the moment, we're out fishing there, lads. And they're fishing, we're waiting for this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, all good in the hood. So, um, oh yeah, and I've actually got work today. I've got two hours of PTs online, managed to keep my gym open, fish by all my amazing students and uh, my PTs. So I've managed to, be able to do online PTs, obviously, um, and the kids' lessons. Been able to run online, so it's been pretty cool, actually. To be fair, um, new way of teaching and learning and all that kind of stuff. It's the first time ever like I've had to go online and like teach like eight, nine kids. It's like really weird sometimes, <laughs> but uh, I've finally got used to it now. I think so. Uh, I've got an hour today. Um, I've got an hour and a half PTs today. So I've got a young kid, a boxer, and I've got a. Uh, bunch of little kids I've got to do online together on the zoom so yeah it's all good in the hood but that's later on today it's like five o'clock good 12 hours yet oh. so uh let's go and get some tension on it boys see you in a bit bing bang bosh Doosh. right here we go then guys down here last night raking so I've raked all the well, I ain't gonna show you everywhere but I've raked a certain area out I was gonna record it but anyway so I've got the rod I've uh, raked it all out last night and put a load of bait but I only put like a quarter of a tin and about a handful of pellets and uh, I'm going to have two rods today one on a method feeder just so I'm casting a little bit further out where I haven't put, dragged the weed out but I know it's kind of clear but a method feeder will just guarantee it with a chopped down old little 10 mil boilie and uh, I'm just going to cast it out there and then I'm going to have the float just here I'm more confident with the float but I still think I'll get a bite on the method okay look little 10 mil boilie in there right let's get it out Okay then guys, um, I was having a discussion the other day on the Tench page about La Tench and uh, someone was saying about the lift method and I'm just going to quickly show you mine. See that real fine little float, if I can get my hand behind it, real fine little float, no lead shot. Just two float stops holding it. And that's it. And then this pins it down. And a guy who sends me how I make it complicated. It's like, mate, that's the, less, that's, that's the least complicated you can get. Because this is overshotted. So if I'm too deep, the float goes completely gone. If I'm too up, the float sticks right up. So it's pretty easy. Right, anyway, let's get it out. Oh, and I didn't bring my worms today, did I? Well, I couldn't find any, to be honest with you. 
they're fully fresh. And what I do is I zoom in here a minute, and like at the moment, it's doubly the five inch gate. And your flint's stuck up like this, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this my first time. Oh, sorry guys, forehead on camera. Literally been here two seconds. Sorry guys, oh man. I was zooming in on the float, and I thought I'd Bloody press play and I didn't. Sorry. Look, Mr. Tench. Yeah, it wasn't even a lift by. As I was talking, it uh, literally just sunk away. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. So, right, let's get you down. Fat female. I knew it was quite small when I was playing it. But there we go. First tent sheet <laughs> this year. All right, Kami. All right, Tuppy. All right, Tuppy. I thought it was a big, uh, big run at first. But there we go. I'm gonna get it back. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get it on camera, did I? Basically, I was playing the fish. You would have seen the beginning of it. Basically, I put the float. They've been left. You know, Thirty seconds. And uh, I thought is that a weird bite. It didn't lift. It just sunk away. So I just picked it up and I was in. And then I pressed. To zoom out and I must press stop. Right, anyway. Oh my god, guys. Again, I'm in. The take was crazy. I've just literally been here. Oh, this is crazy. I've only been here two minutes, man. It's amazing that I literally just about to turn the camera on. Just cast it out again for that last fish. And, uh, I know the fish went crazy in the swim, like it was quite, oh no, I ruined it. And uh, yeah, second tent in 10 minutes. Some of this is still working. Definitely eating lift bites today, guys. This is not just a hard fighter. Setting the ball up, boys. A bit bigger. Yeah, my first. Yeah, it's bad boy. Bad girl, sorry. Female. You can tell we're tense because of the pectoral fins. I know it's like giving you a science class, but hey, come on. There we go. First tench. Second. 
Jack and Chanch. <laughs> there you go. Right, let me get a photo. You're gonna go. It's just so I can make sure I've got a good photo of him. There we go, look at that. It's about three pounds. But it's a second tench. People want to go to commercials. What's that about, eh? What's that about? Hey, Buzzin, I chucked out a handful of bait. And uh, when you pre-bait, don't... Oh, I've got slime all over me. Um, when you pre-bait, don't um, come back in and fill it back in. Don't put any in. <laughs> That's what I just done then. I, didn't, I thought, don't put any bait out. You put bait out last night. They'll come back in because they've heard all the splashing. And they'll come and have a little look to see what's going on. And I was right, two tents within like five minutes. They'll get the other rod out. The other one's going to go in a minute, I reckon. There's so much um, jump over there, and I think oh, I'm worried that I'm not bringing the pike in because there's a lot of action in this little lake in this one area where I'm fishing. So, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing, look, it's just that a piece of bread. I'd rather have a worm on, but like I said, I haven't put out, I've literally put out that much bait. I'm gonna chuck another handful of now, but before I had that fish. I cast it out and I blatantly spooked the fish, trust me. The way it flew out, it could have been a small pike, but I think it was a small tench. Boosh. All right, let's get this float back out. If you really want to see me, um, the lift method better, on my um, when I fish in Wales, um, holiday part two, I do a lot of zooming in and stuff, so it's much easier to see. Here, it's too dangerous. <laughs> I zoom in and uh, I don't want to hook into a tench. <laughs> Do I need a camera crew? Oh my god, guys, there's the tent bubbling again. I just chucked it on his head. Oh, this is really just getting me straight in. That's what I did a minute ago. My first cast in, I didn't really say too much, but there was bubbling right next to where I just put the bait. I thought, hmm. Playing with it, some bit playing with it. The reason why it's so much playing with it, and this is what I was trying to explain about using the lift method into a normal float. The float is going like that, right? Back and forth, not going up and down. And that could be a tench just wobbling it with its tail. So you don't want to be striking it's fish what are going near the float, because when you've got a real sensitive float, Jesus. A little tail whack can make you think you're in. I've literally chucked out a little like, couple of grains of corn. Something's going on. It could be a rud. Yeah, so you don't want to keep casting. And... What's going on? There we go. I knew it, did I? Oh my god, guys. Oh my god, it's really going nuts. I caught the other line. I got it off. Jesus. What a crazy take. Crazy take. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> That's number three. I literally, the float has, I haven't recasted once. That's three casts, three mofo fish. All right, let's get him on up. Real wildies get really angry. So there you go, buzzing with that one. Number three, three cast, three fish. So there we go, guys. Nice, cheap fishing, isn't it? Eh?
and get a lift bike back. She's on. Yeah, she's on. Number four, record beaten <laughs> with a male tench. I always think male tench look really ugly. But look, you can see why it's a male tench. Those pectorals. So there we go, the long lean male tench. Number four, records broken. Records broken. Look at that, eh? Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. It's just been non stop action, honestly, has. And that was my first proper lift bike today. All the rest have just been, <laughs> as you've seen by that tape, seemed to hit into it. <laughs> Craziness.
Right. Here we go. Number five. Best day ever. Best day ever. Nice fat female. Buzzing with that one. Absolutely buzzing. On the old ass, uh, nice little lift method again. And uh, I knew it was going to go. I've just been sat there for about 20 minutes this time. And uh, I just watched it. I ain't recasted every time. I haven't had to recast once yet. The bait's been there the whole time. I had a couple of little tiny lift bites before that, but I knew they were rug. So I didn't hit it. And this is why the lift method's really good. When you, I would have hooked into those rod if, on smaller tackle, um, but not with this bad boy. Always picks out the tench. Right, two seconds. This could go on for like 10 minutes. That was crazy, crazy take. Oh, oh, oh. Really far over there. I'll stop scrolling again. But yeah, that's a classic tench take. Rolled lift bite, bubbles going. trying to stay in this weed down here. The thing is, the weed's not that bad. Good tent, I think. Oh, look. A real dark green tent. It's got the old back wind on. Lovely. <laughs> it started towards me, and then out again. Crazy. Crazy little thing. Oh, guys. <sighs> Happy days. <sighs> that little beauty. Gave me that great little camera view of the bubbling and everything. That was awesome. Absolutely awesome. The old proper lift bite. I don't think I'd be able to manage that today, uh, but I did. Look at this. Buzzing with this one. Uh, so cool got on camera, a little stumpy little thing, isn't it? Look at it. But yeah, bang, yeah, look at his little tail on him. Yeah, banging little tents that is. Real fat little gut on him. He's got a little belly on him. I'd say he's about two and a half. Maybe a, yeah, two and a half, but two. But yeah, he's got real fat belly on him, really buzzing with that. It's a real good scrap. Like, got all on camera. Yeah. That's awesome. Proper textbook tench. I just want to talk about how different the season is as well. Here's my float, anyway. Oh, it's the back of the lift. Oh, God, got that one second hand. Look at it. Oh, it's so Anyway, <laughs> um, I'm so cold. Uh, yeah, the difference. You think, if you look at my videos, yeah, I did them this time last year, and it was freezing, man. This was all, uh, like, it's still dead, and um, I didn't even catch a tench. Um, this is the fifth one. Is that six? I can't remember now. I'm lost now. I think five. Five, five, and lost one. Um, maybe six. I can't remember. Um, but anyway, was, um, I've had a cracking day. I think it's fine. <laughs> um, but the point I'm making is that this time last year, I was wanking. 
Um, there was nothing going on in this little lake. Um, it's a real quiet little lake. But again, it's shown me already how to pike strike in there a minute ago, a little jack pike. If you overfeed it, you're going to get all the little fish going. So I'm really trying to stop that. And I'm putting on bigger bait now to really stop the rod lifting it up. But yeah, that was proper lift bite, boys. Literally just got to tell you how much of a stretch in. About 22 feet out. Oh, what's up, my face? Long lean tench. Yeah. Another female. Look. That's a male. Long lean male. So there we go. It's number six, definitely. Or number seven. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely buzzing with that. Um, yeah, it's just been flat out, man. You can barely keep the rod in the water, literally. Um, my little pike again jump out a minute ago. Um, so yeah, it's all going on today. Really going, guys. <laughs> literally, not joking. I couldn't even get the camera. I literally just thought, put the rod out after having that fish. And, uh, sorry, I'm gonna read. Oh. As you can see, I didn't even have to strike that. <laughs> it took off on its own. Definitely a better fish. Literally just turn the camera on. Like, what's going on, man? There we go. There we go. Oh, Mr. Tench. Alright then guys, number seven, it's been insane, literally guys, I put that other fish back, I literally didn't put the camera on, cast out, put a big bit of bread on, cast out, put the float back, no way it's that bite, no that's not, so I put the rod down, I went to turn the camera on, and it just went, and there's this little fat thing, look at it, fight so hard man, you guys like I said, it's a bigger fish, it's a bigger fish, it's not, just look at this little fat tail on it. You just plow forward, little red eye. Absolute savage, I mean, absolute savage. <laughs> Boom. Here we go. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, guys. That was a crazy death bite. Had the camera off because uh, I didn't know what was going on and uh, got a lift bite. Just need to start switching bait in. It went a bit quiet.
The night. All right. So when you get them in the weed, don't just like yanking on them. Just hold them, wait, and like that, it just released itself. Boom! Little fat female. I can tell. But yeah, she didn't fight very hard because it was just a big pile of weed. There we go. Oosh! Look at that absolute cracking fish. Buzzing with that. As you can see, I had, a, I had another hoodie on a minute ago because it's a northeasterly wind. It's bloody freezing in this bush. No sun or nothing. But yeah, look, it's a little sample. So there you go. Yeah, all weed. Uh, but yeah, so lucky I raked it out the other day. Big boom. Look at that. Clunker. Absolute clunker. Yeah, boy, but that's been about an hour and 20 minutes since my last bike. Oh, oh there's the pinch. Oh, he's a bloody drag. Give him shape in me. Wind's freezing, man. Wind's absolutely freezing. Tangled up in the, in the line then as well. Oh, what's that? All right, number nine. The little male tench. Fought really hard though. Give him that. There we go. I thought it was a rod to be honest because I was getting played by rod. I had two proper rod bites. Didn't hook into him. He just picked up the bait and ran off with it. And I hooked into nothing. Um, so anyway, I thought it was a rod and then I uh, struggled into it. Boom, tench. It was about half an hour, 40 minutes into the last one. Still only like nine o'clock in the morning. So, oh, bing bang boss, have it. Didn't have the camera on, just passed it out, and the rod went again. Cannot believe it. Tench literally hit it on the drop. Didn't even get chance to bring the camera on. Fucking crazy today. Literally just two minutes after that last fish. Okay, pretty well, to be honest with you. I caught him by surprise. Got proper flowering around. Normally in a really fast like this, but uh
Thanks, that's been pretty mental. This is the mail. See by his pectoral. But yeah, angry little mail. Just took me all over the shot. I literally couldn't even get the camera on. If I did, you seen him literally as I struck into it. It's bizarre, man. Literally just dropped it in, bang, into attention. <laughs> Crazy. Right, let's get back in. It's quiet. I thought I'd have a little chit chat. Well, I think my catch rate's gone up like, compared to normal. Um, because obviously these are not uh, fed. Uh, by commercials, so they don't want to fed them, so that makes no difference if I fish or not, if that makes sense. So they're not like they're missing bait. Um, but when I used to fish here all the time, I used to fish here with like a size, I don't know, 14 hook or even light, even smaller. Um, and I would end up like size 16. And I'd put one maggot on and one caster or something, and I would just hook into rod for hours and uh, trying to get it through the swim. So I'd put on loads of maggots trying to get it through the swim, and all this commotion would just put off the tench and i still catch tench i remember i i caught two uh one tench on maggots down here but i caught about a thousand rub while i was doing it um so i've learned not to you know use little hooks and tiny baits when i'm fishing for tench or same with carp because you're gonna hook into all the other things that you don't want to hook into do you know what i mean it's just a waste of time so yeah i've had it honestly yeah, loads of times where i'm using really small works tiny bits of bread and it's just like boom, boom, like every two minutes you can't get it through the swing um so i learned to put bigger baits on get the float sticking up a little bit um, so then the bites are a lot more positive and you know it's a tench, do you know what I mean? I know I'm not striking to rod. I've only had about, like, I think two occasions today where I've done that. Um, but I've been putting the bait in little and often. Um, not even little and often, really, but <laughs> it's just because if I put loads of bait in, you see how much bait I had? I turned up. That's how much I've still got left. So you see me sending a tiny little bag. Um, because I'm not here to feed the fish, you know, when I leave I'll put some bait in, but um, I'm not here to feed the fish, I'm here to catch them. So that's what, you know, it's not like a match situation where I'm going to put in loads of bait and get the fish competing. I just want to catch a single fish every time out the swim. Um, like hand gestures there. Yeah, I just want to get the fish what's in the swim basically, do you know what I mean? Um, I don't want to be messing around trying to catch loads of little thousands of little things that are in the swim. And there's been quite a lot of pike striking to be honest, I've seen quite a few in my swim, but... It is what it is, isn't it? Little jackies, eh? You might keep the rod off a bit. <laughs> That's the left bite. It's colder now than it was at the four o'clock this morning, so it's bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Uh, nice fat female tench. That was a proper lift bite. I'd love to show you, but that was like an hour and a bit before my next bite, if you know what I mean. The float literally just comes straight out of the water. Uh, I obviously turned on the camera as it happened. So I've seen it going on. Look at that fast boy. I reckon that's three and a half, this one. Probably the biggest one today. Fat female. Yeah, boy. Fine fisherman's on it today. Um, if you're wondering what that stone thrown is, it's somebody who's disabled. Um, they stood by side the lake throwing stones in. It's one of them. <laughs> he was like kicking off. I was just about to say the wind's died off a bit, but it hasn't. I'm going to put that hoodie back on again in a minute. It's bloody freezing, man. You wouldn't believe it. I'm just because I'm sat in the shade. Um, there's no sun for me, and it's a northeasterly, and uh, it's cold. <laughs> That's number 11. Oh, never had so many tension a day, that's insane. Um, so, and they've all been wild as well. Wild. So, that's awesome for me, man. Um, so, yeah, obviously, you can see loving it in the bush um, from lockdown. We are very lucky. Obviously, Wales and Scotland and that still can't fish. And, still can't fish. So, 
Um, we are very lucky. Right, anyway, let's get back on with the fishing. I'll grab it on because I ain't got that much battery either. It's about half past 10, 11 o'clock now. That's weird, guys. <laughs> Big rud. Is that right? A rud. A massive rud. Obviously, <laughs> I literally just seen her had a really weird little lift bite, and uh, look at this fat thing. <laughs> that's a rud for here. That's a proper specimen. I know it's not compared to most people. Would have thought I like a three pound rud, but um, this specimen for this little water. Um, but let's remember that one. <laughs> it worries on me. I'm not getting that. Obviously, obviously. There we go. Nice Mr. Rud. Fat belly on him. He's got, literally got a real fat belly on him. Boom, happy days. There we go. That's a crazy take again. Slow lift bite. Crazy. Crazy take. Fishing all over the swim. Only a small tench. Only a small one. Number 11, isn't it? The 12. Yeah. <laughs> Good then guys, I think that's number 11 or number 12. Yeah. Uh, literally it's been quiet for about a good good hour and a bit now. Um, but long, lean, male tench. So yeah, the wind's really kicked up. It's really cold, it honestly is. Um, so yeah, I thought that's my roller then. But yeah, so it's all been on the float. It's just been flat out. Um, another really uh, left bite. It's cold now, man. As you can see, it's only a small lake, three foot deep at the most. I'm only fishing two foot deep. Um, but yeah, it's freezing cold now. It's like a different day, man. It was really warm this morning when I got here. But I thought I'd quickly show you my gear, how I carry it all. So I've got, today I've got two rod sleeves, purely because it's just going to protect my rods. Normally I can just stick two rods in one of the sleeve, but I've damaged a few rods doing that. So now I put two rod sleeves, 1.75, no, 1 1.1 1 1.5 test curve, and my float rod. Um, so then I've put a sock on the end of it to protect it. And I've got a bungee rope holding them both together so they don't separate. So when I pick it up, it's one net. I've got my net, I've got my tripod for my camera, and my anoki mat, and obviously all my gear. So that's it. Me ready to go. Two seconds. There we go. Easy as that, man. So uh, yeah, it was a really good session. Really enjoyed it. And. Uh, back out again very soon on a little wild water i think definitely keeping away from the commercials um got my spare hoodie there it's a bit different now when i walk a bit i'll be warm it's typical isn't it right anyway guys um like and subscribe to my channel bing bang bosh water water